Hey, greetings to all my amazing uh, Washington and Schlegel students out there. David Harrington, uh, College and Career Facilitator, just coming at you with a little bit of information on some important dates that you're going to want to keep in mind as the second semester or the first semester begins to come to a close. So let me just share my screen here real quick. I'm going to try to go through this as quick as possible, just in hopes that the video is not too long, so you'll stick with me. Um, so first of all, this is the last week of tech. Awesome, exciting. Um, it's been a tough semester. Uh, you've had a unique experience because you, unlike a lot of students in the Metro, have actually been in classes doing hands-on works, uh, sometimes at home as well. But I know that this has been a challenging process and I hope you've learned a lot. Um, and I want you to uh, really power through to the end and do the best you can. <coughs> Excuse me. December 17th is the last day of college classes, also big yay. It has not been any easier for you guys. Um, as you've been struggling to get through these college classes, I have the highest respect for you and the work that you've done. We have had to withdraw very few students. Um, that is a success in itself, but for those of you that are still here and working hard, please, please do your very best to push through with all that you can, okay? You wanna make sure that when you get those college grades, those ones that are going on your permanent college transcript, that you can be proud of those. So January 19th will be the first day of tech for the second semester. Things should be just fine as far as transportation and you should have your classes ready to go. I do wanna mention, um, you should in your KCKCC email, and you should know about this already, there is a form that you have to fill out in order to continue through to the second semester. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please be sure that you contact your instructor and ask them about that. Um, this is a requirement. Most of you have done it, but for those of you who may not know what I'm talking about, please follow up as soon as possible. January 25th is the first day of college classes second semester. Um, pretty awesome. Um, and here's why. It starts at the same time as your third quarter high school classes. So that's gonna be nice. We'll be all on track for that. But then also, your college classes end on December 17th in first semester, while all your high school classes for first semester will continue on for a while, which means you're going to have some blocks in your schedule where you will be free um, until second semester actually starts. Use this time wisely, whether that be to work harder on your high school classes or even whether that be going outside and getting some fresh air, doing something for yourself, because I know the schedules that you've been under have been very rigorous. So enjoy this time and either get some good work done academically or something you know physical for your health and your mental health, okay? Take that time and do something good with it. Enrollment is going on currently for the second semester college courses. Most of you have been contacted about enrolling for those classes. If you have not, please let me know. Um, you should have my email. This video will come out in an email. So any questions you have about what I'm going to say, just please reply to that email and I'll give you more information. But again, if you have not been contacted about enrolling for classes for the second semester, uh, college classes, then please email me and let me know. Uh, textbook return, and, and I should say check out actually. Uh, so textbook return, for first semester and check out for second semester. I'm not sure what it's gonna look like right now, so I did not put a date on there, but I do want you guys to know that we do need our textbooks back. Those are very expensive books. And so I, uh, please keep your eye on your video, on the videos and on email, and I'll be giving you more information on how we're gonna go about that process. All right, now to the good news, right? So holiday break is actually, uh, starts on December 23rd. You will be in classes again on January 4th. Use this time wisely, okay? It's meant for you to, to recharge. I know it's gonna look different this year in terms of what the holiday is and, and what family you're gonna be able to see and all that. Please don't let that get you down. Um, use this time to go outside, to read a book that's not for school, to binge some Netflix, to you know stay up late and sleep in late. Do good things for your mental health and try to recharge yourself. That's what it's there for. Because when you come back into classes, wait a minute, that's wrong. Oh, no, that's right. I'm sorry. I'm going to continue. Um, you'll still be in first semester when you return. Uh, but I do want you to please stay as focused as you possibly can when you come back. And so let that, let that break really help you out. 
Um, the information that I'm about to go through now is college and career stuff. That is Edward Franco at Schlegel and Kareem Wall at uh, Washington. Um, Edward.Franco at KCKPS.org and Kareem.Wall at kckps.org. And you can also email me if you have any questions about this information. This is KC Scholars Week for juniors. This is a really big deal. This is a $10,000 scholarship that is renewable up to five times. That's a lot of money if you do the quick math on that. Um, it does take a little bit of work, but not an incredible amount of work. And so this is something that for your future, if you want to go to college, then you really need to get on KC Scholars. It's important. Contact your college and career coordinators about that, and they will give you more information. The ACT is happening this weekend. Those of you that are taking it should have already been um, registered for that test. Um, if you are not registered for this one, but you do want to take the ACT, contact your college and career coordinator about when the next dates are going to be, and they'll help you to get registered. There are vouchers available. And um, although some colleges are not requiring the ACT for admissions this year, this may be a test that you wanna take, that's up to you. Um, some do require it. So please be sure that you're clear on what your college, your, your hope for a college um, requires. Uh, there is a FAFSA workshop for Schlegel. That's December 11th from 1 to 3. I'm sure Washington's uh, College and Career Center is also doing FAFSA work, so I'm just not sure of what their dates and times are. Uh, please contact your college and career coordinators about that. The FAFSA is essential for you if you are planning on going to college. It's basically free money. Um, many of you will qualify for the free money. And so just filling out the paperwork, although it's a pain in the butt, uh, it's definitely worth it. So please be sure that you guys are going through that process. Um, Schlegel, I'm gonna talk to you real quick. And I believe it's gonna be the same for Washington. I just don't have their information available, but Schlegel, you must do a credit audit with uh, Ms. Mrs. Carter and Ms. Neal. I believe that Zoom meeting is every Friday. Um, it is a requirement for graduation. Uh, get more information from them by emailing them. If you do not know their contact information, you can simply email me and I will get that to you right away. Same with Washington. If you have questions about that, please let me know and I will be sure to uh, get you that information right away. But most seniors will be required to do a credit audit before they can actually graduate. That's about it. I don't want to keep you too long. I do appreciate very much you watching this video today. I hope it was helpful for you. Um, all I can say to you is, is you're nearing the end. Um, it will continue when we come back from break, but it, it's getting close. And so please stay focused, um, not college classes. They will not continue, okay? You're done December 17th. Yeah. <laughs> um, and also tech. But for your high school classes, I know that there's still a lot of work going on. So I want you all to please stay focused and work hard, but keep your eye on that break. Use it to your best advantage. Again, I'm here for you always as you begin to go through your finals. If you feel that you need some extra assistance or you need me to help you communicate something with your professor, I mean, I'll even edit a paper if that's what you'd like. Uh, I'm, I'm up for whatever you need. And so please just reach out to me and let me know what you need. Finish strong um, and be proud of yourself when you do. That's it. Have a great day, guys, and I hope to hear from you soon. Bye.